Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn Just Be With Mahesh. So today we will look into a think and design uh, video series. It's been very very long that we have not looked into it. Or you can also frame this as an interview question, an interesting question. So either way you can take it and basically try to come up with a solution. The question is something like this. Uh, so you want uh, all the existing resource in your Google Cloud project to continue running. Say for example, if we have virtual machine, few buckets, so these should continue running, but no new resources should be possible to be created. So meaning you should not be able to create a new virtual machine, a new bucket kind of a stuff. What is running? It should continue running. So this is something which you need to achieve. Uh, so uh, even if the person is having a owner role, he or she will not be able to create new resources. Existing resource, they can continue using it. Now you may ask, is this a really a valid use case? Possibly, yes. Uh, I can give a possible use case, uh, like it's like a freeze kind of a stuff. So there's a project where we have completely freezed it. Maybe this project has entered a, a kind of a stage, something like a, a support. No further uh, enhancements is going to be done. It's only going to be used uh, going forward as a uh, support project. Now, um, if if you have looked into Mounted Games uh, uh, case study, right, from Cloud Architect exam, they talk about something really on this kind of a stuff where uh, there are some migration which they do using a lift and shift. So all the legacy applications gets moved to one particular project. You don't want to modify anything in that. Maybe that could be a possible use case. So pause the video, think about the solution. Uh, do let me know your possible uh, choice or answers in the comment section. As usual, I would try to give uh, one of the possible solutions, uh, may not be the best one, a possible solution. So let's get into the uh, demonstration. All right, uh, we are in the GCP console. I have a project called as website project. Uh, so where they, I have a virtual machine. Uh, I don't have an external IP address because of some org policies, I cannot create it. So that's something which you see it. So if you want, you can SSH into it. All those things should work basically. So by the time it SSH into it, so let me just show you the bucket. So I have some buckets. Uh, so I should be able to create a bucket. Let me just create it a bucket. Something like a happy new year. 2023 remember we had created this on the first of uh, january so now if i try to create it maybe that bucket may not be possible because i have not deleted the bucket in that project so i'll just mention it as gcp so now the whole thing which i wanted to show is uh, i'm able to create the bucket that is what i wanted to show you so and I'm also able to SSH into the uh, virtual machine. Awesome, right? So far, so good. So meaning just to show that this is a really a running project is what I would say. Uh, maybe if you want, we can create a real quick uh, one more virtual machine just to show you that things are working. So there's nothing freeze put on this project. That's what I wanted to show. So let me just real quick create it. So it should create another virtual machine but it will always create a virtual machine with no external IP address because I have created an org policy. So how to create that kind of an org policy if you want uh, you can look into the the channel so I have a video on that. Uh, so maybe I'll put it in the card so that you can look into that also. So you see that it's a live project. Now from now onwards so which is basically uh, <coughs> uh, Today is 5th if I'm not wrong. So yeah, 5th of January, uh, 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock onwards, uh, there's a freeze. Nothing should be created further in this project. How do we achieve it? So uh, people may think of some options. So I'll also propose that option and show you the drawback of it. So one option which people may think, right, disable the building right something comes to this as a first option so if you see this is the project so this is my project where i have linked uh, the project to this building account the moment i disable the building right what is going to happen everything is going to be disabled so even those two virtual machines the buckets everything will not be basically uh, accessible so let me just show you this so this is not a solution. So this will not work is what I wanted to show. So let me just disable this. So I have disabled the project. So billing has been disabled, sorry. So now if I refresh it, 
what you will say and this is a live demo folks i am not for uh, uh, pause the video it's running live so similarly if i go you see the buckets so if i just refresh it it will show billing has to be enabled blah 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 so that's what it is going to show meaning uh, we have lost so we cannot uh, consume these buckets also say for example the bucket which i created so uh, or can I create a new bucket or can I use the existing bucket? I'm not sure whether I can upload a new object. Let me try to upload a new object. Uh, all right, I have the recordings of yesterday, which has been there. Let me try to upload it and see whether it works. Uh, so zero files uploaded. So that's what it indicates because billing is not enabled, right? So meaning this option does not work is something which I wanted to show you. So let me just enable the billing back. So free trial account that's the billing name which i have given now things will be back to normal so meaning if i go back and upload this should get uploaded now you can see the difference same thing uh, if i go back to the virtual machine i should be able to see uh, sorry i should be able to see those two virtual machines so uh, but one important point to notice the moment you disable billing like the resources goes to a stopped state so that's what you see so website was running actually we had also SSH into it but now it is in a stopped state this one is also getting stopped so this is something which you need to keep in mind so when you disable the billing uh, resources which are running like for example virtual machine kubernetes cluster they come to a uh, virtual machine comes to a uh, terminated state kubernetes i need to check what it comes to basically so maybe i'll try to think about it or i'll try to do a demonstration in the next uh, uh in the next uh, few weeks basically so uh, but these are something which you can leverage it folks now what is the solution so let's come to the solution part of it beautiful option so the solution which i wanted to propose is basically a possible solution is an organization policy so organization policy for a particular project which is called as website what is the policy name uh, it is called as resource location restriction now if i look into the details of this one right what it says is basically uh, if you remember in one of the videos i had put uh, uh, again i guess in the think and design if i want to restrict the vms in a particular region what will i do i'll create only a sub network in that region so if i want a vms to be provisioned or kubernetes cluster to be provisioned only in us central i'll create a sub network only in us central but i am free to create a bucket a spanner instance uh, <coughs> bigquery data set usually in some other region that is possible but this is a very interesting uh, org policy which restricts where you need to operate so for example if i am a customer and i only operate in us central no other regions so i can put a restriction that by default it is allowed everywhere so all the regions all the current regions uh, which google has in all the 35 regions you can create it but if i enable this what i can do is uh, i can say in which region i can create it so that's the option so you don't want to basically inherit so you want to do a customization where you want to replace with a rule uh, so where you can have some kind of a customization uh, allow with a specific uh, region uh, you can mention that i want it in only in this region uh, region so only in that region the resource can be provisioned now i'm not going to do that so what i'm going to do is basically um, i'm going to deny everything folks deny all under the project so to do this i need to have a specific role let me show you what is that role so first let me just basically uh, create this uh, role sorry org policy denied folks so all denied so you see there is one org policy uh, and which basically is to restrict provisioning resource in a particular region now we are leveraging it to our need and we have denied everything meaning you cannot create any resource in website project in any region so every resource is going to be a regional resource so most of the resources you will not be able to create it 
right you will not be able to create it that's what you will see it so maybe as a, a bonus point we will try to see we try to create a global resource and see whether it gets created okay we can do that so but this is the one which i want to do so coming to what role you should have to change this policy let me just show you that the role which i need to have is at an org level i should have a role called as a organization policy administrator so to do those organization policy stuffs changes all those things so just being an owner you cannot do anything you need to be an org policy administrator folks just for your information so now we have applied this stuff so and also sometimes this role uh, the policy changes will reflect some take will time for it to reflect it and please note this only works from this point onwards so meaning what is the time now it is around 2 5 uh, 2 pm uh, so only after this only it is going to work so retrospectively it's not going to work so meaning whatever it is there it's going to continue running so let's go ahead and see what is going to happen so let me just refresh this so the resources which we had is going to continue uh, being there let me try to start it folks uh, um, I'm never tried this option. So let's give a uh, try whether it gets started or not. So otherwise we should have kept it in at least in start state. Um, so let's wait for this. By the time this comes up, uh, I'll go to the bucket. So I can basically delete. It should work. I should basically go and uh, is there anything here? Nothing. So let me upload one more time the same file. So upload is happening. Let's go to the bucket creation. So just to show you, I'm going to leave everything default. So uh, happy new year, GCP, uh, uh, org policy. leaving everything default it's a multi-regional one so when i click on create let's see what is the message we are going to get this is what you see us violates the r constraint which is the resource because we have put denied so in no regions you can create it so let's go to the bucket yeah this is sorry a virtual machine so instance which is running it is going to continue so but when i go and create a new instance So I'm just going to leave again everything default. So when I click on create, it will have the message which is already popping up. So US Central A is is a violate, uh, it violates the constraint. So that's it. So we have things which is going to continue running. Uh, if you want to patch it, restart it, all those things are possible. That's what it indicates. That's beautiful. So that indicates these ARC policies don't work in a retrospective style. It will not work, apply for any existing resource. Any new resources, you cannot create it. So I showed you two resources, virtual machines and uh, buckets. So if you want, we can go look into BigQuery, uh, create a BigQuery data set. It should also have the constraint. As a final one, I would try to show you uh, basically uh, this is the this is the project. So if I can I create a data set? Mostly no is my understanding. So let's go ahead and create it. Beautiful. It shows that, right? So uh, these are all multi-regional, regional. We have seen a zonal resource, which is virtual machine. We have seen a multi-regional resource like a BigQuery data set and Google Cloud storage bucket. None of them are possible to get created. So let's go to the VPC. VPC, we know it's a global uh, constraint or it's a global, global construct. So let's go and try to create one more and see whether we can do anything uh, demo. So I'm going to basically leave it as automatic for a very quick one to check what happens. So I guess uh, it will not sure. I should have only created the uh, I should not have created the sub network because sub networks are regional resources. Uh, VPC is a global resource. So let's just wait for it to show up. Uh, does it going to show an error or not? I did not check this piece. Okay, this gets created. <laughs> Beautiful. The VPC gets created. 
but remember it's an auto mode vpc but your uh, sub networks does not has not created because those are regional resources that's one thing right so which is a good one so that way we also get an exposure that this is global resources so pubsub is another global resource uh, so let's go ahead and create pubsub so It's a global resource. Hopefully it should get created is my understanding. So let's give a try. So create a topic uh, demo. Okay. Okay. This does not get uh, policy does not allow storage of any regions where pub service. Okay. So uh, not very sure I have to look into the details of this uh, PubSub is not allowed but VPC is a global resource PubSub also should have been created uh, so looking at this one messages in the region where storage is not available okay so it has some dependencies my understanding the because at the end you're going to store the data in every region right so that is the reason it is not allowing us so coming back to the, uh, the solution, the possible solution, which I would uh, mention is basically create a denial policy using resource location restriction or policy. So using this, we should be able to achieve it. Do let me know your uh, so thoughts and solution, which could be able to handle this uh, in the comment section. Thank you for watching.